fine so uh, the total profits in question 2 what we calculated profit per unit into unit sold is 2.58 into that is 4.9 million that is already been calculated now let us start with the new uh, concept or let us start with the new topic so after life cycle costing as per our material we have target costing kaizen costing value chain analysis just in time and back flushing so today before uh, we start with other topic let us start with just in time first Are again one of those small topics which is uh, important when which will be helpful for your understanding so i am making sure that the small topics we finish it first so that you have a better grip in the coming topics what we do so first we did with life cycle costing now we are moving on to just in time topic that is on page number 35 now see just in time topic what is basically uh, just in time just in time why this concept has been introduced or what was the reason why this concept was uh, not in ipcs and it is in your ca final so what level of understanding you need in your just in time see in ipcc level if i start from the roots in ipcc level you learned one of those first chapters in your ipcc was of material costing right where what you learned is there is a concept of eoq there is a con concept of minimum level maximum level reorder level purchase levels right and accordingly you place orders for the number of quantity on the basis of eoqs so that or your carrying cost and ordering cost are equal there was a point of eoq economic ordo quantity there is a point where your carrying cost and your ordering cost are one and the same there is no difference in carrying cost and ordering cost and that why it is known as economic order quantity a quantity which i will order where my cost are most economical when it comes to my material cost purchase so we used to calculate eoq over there after calculation of eoq what you used to do you used to calculate minimum stock level maximum stock level so what should be the minimum stock level that a company should maintain at what level a company should place a order that is used to call it as reorder level then we used to learn is maximum level what is the maximum level of stock that a company should maintain so when you are maintaining this stock levels what happens is you incur a stock cost warehousing cost storage cost maintenance cost product if if the product's life is uh, less then you again incur to make sure the product life is been uh, used properly or effective use has been done there is no waste stage so all this type of carrying cost specifically that you incur when you maintain stock levels right like go down rent in practical life you understand it's like go down rent it's like moving one goods from uh, go down to the factory or production it is like for stores area the goods should be again they should make sure the quality test has been done because the goods were purchased 2 3 months back if in case so the stores will do a quality check first then they will issue it to the production production will go for the uh, unit production then so all this kind of carrying cost we used to incur when we used to maintain stock levels that is what we learned in ipcc now there then in ca final a concept of just in time was is been introduced what is this just in time concept see understand just in time says what that what if i do not maintain the stock levels what if i do not maintain the stock levels i purchase just in time when the production is done so that is the reason why the concept was known as just in time so there is no stock levels there is no minimum stock there is no maximum stock the moment a purchase is required the moment you require some units for your production you place an order and accordingly that production or that order or those units will directly be placed to the production department right so then in that case there is no question of quality check there is no question of uh, the lab test or there is no question of maintaining stock levels warehousing carrying cost nothing directly you transport or directly arrangement is done in such a way that the product is been directly been transport of product is directly used to production department so that is how the just in time was concept used why was this concept used as i said the headings of your chapters or the ca final paper is strategic cost management and performance evaluation and this chapter or this topic specifically falls under strategic cost management so how a company can manage a cost how a company can make sure that the costs are minimum how a company can make sure that the profits are higher on those basic understanding 
this just in time concept was introduced and a just in time concept is followed so basically here i am not maintaining a godowns or i am not maintaining a storage i am not doing a carrying cost merely when there is a production units are purchased introduced to production and the production has been done so there are two systems in just in time one is carbon card system and machining cell systems which we will discuss later on if you understand the introduction a just in time approach is a collection of ideas that streamline a company's production process activity to such extent that wastage of important word over here is wastage of all kinds that is time material and labor is systematically driven out of the process so there is no wastage we make sure that wastage is minimum see when you follow minimum order level maximum order level there are chances of wastage of a product in the storage there are chances wastage of a product when you are carrying from one unit to another unit there are chances of wastage when your quality test or when your lab test are done so all those wastage are removed in just in time concept just in time is a decisive positive impact on product cost now understand that this is very important just in time approach renders the eoq model absolute according to just in time eoq model is absolute because it abandons and that the assumption that stock is necessary every time it is not necessary for your stock सर अगर स्टॉक नहीं होगा तो फिर हमारा प्रोडक्शन कैसे होगा हाउ हाउ कैन वी डू प्रोडक्शन इफ देर इज नो स्टॉक सो द इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म व्हाट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओवर हियर इज इट अबंडन द अजम्पन दैट स्टॉक इज नेसेसरी जस्ट इन टाइम तो ये बोलता है देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्टॉक बिकॉज वेन एवर देर इज अ स्टॉक अकॉर्डिंग टू जस्ट इन टाइम स्टॉक इज अ लाइबिलिटी योर स्टॉक इज अ लाइबिलिटी अकॉर्डिंग टू जस्ट इन टाइम कि आपके पास स्टॉक पड़ा है दैट मीन योर लाइबिलिटी दैट यू टू मेंटेन दैट you have to preserve that you have to make sure that a proper care proper cost proper storage has been incurred and that is the reason while all your concept of ipcc of material costing eoq model fails over here just in amla like if i am supposed to save my cost why cannot i save my cost by doing just in time process rather than maintaining stock because the moment i maintain maintain stock time material and labor cost all there is a wastage storage cost and all those so just in time approach expects the delivery to take place at frequent intervals in small quantities just in time expects that frequent interval mein small quantities mein deliveries aapke wahan pe dispatch ho so that only stock required for immediate production is obtained there is no minimum level maximum level over here just in time approach increases delivery cost we understand because when you are under, when you are saying that small deliveries are done in small quantity frequent deliveries are done your delivery cost will increase we agree but if you understand if with the increase in your delivery cost there are a lot of benefits that you go through because there is a saving of your storage cost the first thing there is a saving in your qualities what happens is that if i purchase something today and if i use in my production after 3 months 4 months 5 months 6 months there may be a question of quality and that is why a quality check is done before the raw material is been introduced to the production department but the moment i want to produce today and and as per the my required standards if the products are delivered today itself and i do not maintain a stock the process of quality check might be not required so it might be eliminated and that is the reason why just in time it this leads to wide range of implication relation to quality and intra company relationship based on this approach goods are delivered straight again very very important goods are delivered straight at production site obligating need of inspection counting checking and etc directly production department mein chale jayega so what happens is sir mujhe 1 lakh units produce karna hai that means we need 1 lakh raw material suppose 1 lakh units of raw material directly you order to the supplier in frequent interval that those 1 lakh units are delivered to you start your production the moment you start your production if the production is not been achieved means there is a supply issue or 1 lakh units or the supplier has issued us less than 1 lakh units we can immediately catch him but if suppose you maintain stock levels suppose you go for eoq level the first thing you do is you buy in a bulk purchase then what you do is out of that 1 lakh units so you do a counting of your bulk purchase then you make sure that 1 lakh units out of those bulk purchase are been introduced to production line 
or quality check. Quality check does the quality check process. Then that one lakh units are provided to production department and then the production is done. So there is a lot of counting, there is a lot of checking, a lot of inspection cost that I am saving when I am following just in time approach. Now a concept comes, ki sir just in time follow kaise hoga? Practically how can you follow just in time? See, there are a lot of, in India if I say about, speak about, there are a lot of industrial areas where अब कंपनी X अगर है तो उसके आसपास उस इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया में SEZ जोन में उस इंडस्ट्रियल जोन्स में जो गवर्नमेंट्स हैं या प्राइवेट डेवलप्स हुए हैं उसके आसपास देर आर लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज और लॉट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एट वन सिंगल प्लेस सो व्हाट हैपेंस इस इफ आई एम फॉलोइंग अ जस्ट इन टाइम सिस्टम आई वुड मेक श्योर दैट माय वेंडर इज समवेयर वेरी क्लोज टू मी इन दैट इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया राइट सो से फॉर एग्जांपल दैट देयर इज अ इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया इन लोकेशन X और इन दिल्ली then we would try to make sure that those industries where raw materials are required, those who are supplying me, we try to make sure that those industries are close to my Delhi area. So whenever I need a production, I immediately give a trigger to my supplier. Supplier does the production. Supplier will immediately give me those units and raw materials and I can immediately use for production and do my process. So basically all those systems when I am following the stock, the wastage of your stocks, counting, inspection cost, quality cost can be saved. And this is how just in time can be used. So, as the Modi says, go for the vocals. Locals are the vocals. So, accordingly on that concept itself, just in time also follows the system that the more and more you try from the nearby suppliers, you trigger it fast. It can deliver you small quantities. It can deliver you in intervals. That is the best thing because then stock maintenance would lead to a lot of cost reduction and a lot of cost management. But again, when the vendors are not available at ease, when there is an issue of supply, delivery, you cannot just in, follow just in time. But then also you can reduce your cost, you cannot, you can reduce, do a cost management by making sure that the number of quantities supplied are on the basis of a production planning. So description of just in time. So what are this uh, description, what are this includes process in accounting system. So first thing is to begin a company must ensure that it receives products, spare parts, material from its suppliers to the exact date and exempt time when they are required. Right. So if I plan that I am starting my production on Monday, I have to make sure that by Monday the production to start my raw material and everything is been achieved. So this is one of those again drawbacks or a uh, question or a difficulty in just in time is that if the materials are not supplied within the time or if you are not if you are not been available with the raw material within the time when you start a production you may lose your production. So there is a chances of uh, losing your production or there is a chance that you may pay higher to your supplier to make sure that urgently deliveries or you know fast deliveries are done. So that may happen as soon as supplier certifies their for the delivery and quality, the concern must install a system, very important, must install a system that tells supplier exactly how much of which parts are to be sent to the company. So we implement a system, basically we implement an ERP, we implement an internal process that triggers the supplier exactly, how much quantity are required at what duration in what time. Drivers can then being small deliveries of product of the company possibly going to the extreme of dropping them at the specific machines that will use them first. Next, we shorten the setup times for the concerns machinery. Under just in time system, different approach to the setup issues is followed, which focus on making a videotape of a typical setup instead of reducing the length of equipment setups and thereby eliminating the need of long production run to reduce cost per unit. The team, a team of industrial engineers and machines users, examine this tape spotting the gradual el uh, eliminating steps that contribute to the lengthy setups. So basically, the moment we think of just in time, so we need to go for small setups. We cannot go for lengthy setups. See what happens is that if you are doing a continuous production 24 by 7, if there is a continuous production of a product, then in that case, I cannot follow just in time frequently because I need to have raw material every now and then, right, for 24 by 7. So in that case, I have to follow a long setup system once the setup starts, I cannot stop my machinery, I cannot stop my production and accordingly the production keeps on going. But when there are production at small intervals, if you are following just in time system, you follow that small setups are being introduced. So there is a less setup cost, less wastage of time when you are setting up the product and accordingly you can achieve a production. It is, if it is, not, it is not sufficient to reduce machine setup times, 
because there are still problems with machine not being coordinated properly so that there is a smooth streamlined flow of parts of machine to machine so this may happen that there are you cannot reduce your machine time you may be not able to do a less setup time so in that case there are two ways to resolve both the problems as i said in just in time very important are carbon card and working cell system group machines into working cell so these are two important approach that just in time follows now sir what are these two systems what is carbon card and what is working cells again theoretically this can be asked in exams right so this is one of those important heads what you need to understand now the objective just in time as we have already discussed it in eliminates uh, your nv activities that is not required or uh, activities there is zero inventory so there is zero defect economical batch sizes zero breakdowns and on time delivery to customer so these are all the objectives what you follow how does just in time contribute to lower inventories and associated cost as we have discussed there is no question of eoq minimal level maximum level reorder level so according to on those basis my inventories would be lower and its associated cost would also be lower basically work in progress inventory drops also that is also one of those important thing work in progress inventory drops right fixed cost fixed cost in goods inventory drops and accordingly raw material inventory is reduced because supply driven only in small quantity so there are three things why we reduce and all those cost which are related with your inventory like interest cost so interest cost like cost of inventory rent of inventory storage equipment used in the warehouse warehouse utilities warehouse employees taxes on the inventory insurance required all those can be saved right so this is a basically cost reduction now keep focus in just in time as i said inspection time is eliminated movement times are eliminated queue time is eliminated finally one can eliminate storage time these are the key focuses right and that can be done impact on just in time in overheads now just in time overheads are greatly reducing just in time as i said inventory storage nahi rahega right so inventory cost jo hum log inventory mein investment kiya hai for inventory wo inventory cost that is interest cost can be saved it reduces on inventory level and associated cost as you have discussed right now that equipment warehouse utilities warehouse employees insurance interest cost taxes on inventory all those can be saved so all those overheads which are relevant irrelevant can be reduced further all those non value added activities can be stopped there are two kind of activities that you go through one is value added one is non value added sir what is value added activities what is non value added activities this is again a concept which will deal further in ca final topics itself when any activity i am carrying on and it gives a value addition to my product it is known as value added activity but when i am following an activity which is not giving a value addition to my product but it is a cost for my product then that is a non value added activity so i am incurring a cost which is not benefiting my product which is not adding a value to my product then it is something which is non value added activity and company should evaluate such, such non value added activity to manage their cost when you remove non value added activities your storage cost sorry your uh, product cost management your cost will be reduced and according to that reduction in cost it will be helpful for increasing your profits or management in cost so eliminate non value added activities right an improvement in value added activities that is one of those things happen reduction in time reduction in inventory levels and associated cost elimination of unnecessary cost drivers introduction of machine sales again what is machine sales and carbon card that we shall discuss but we have already discussed all these points just in time ka uh, important thing so what we will discuss that so the effect of just in time philosophy on overhead cost is three fold number 1 through reduction in overhead cost through shift between overhead cost and scientific allocation of common overheads based on machine sales and cost drivers now see impact of just in time already discussed reduction in labor cost material handling scrap quantity rework floor space and all those things now there are two methods methods of to resolve problem of excessive work in progress and defective products with the help of just in time system are which are these methods again this is important thing which are these methods number 1 is carbon card and number 2 is working sales also known as machine sales 
Now what is Kaban card? See, it is a notification card. Understand the term. It is a notification card that a downstream machine sends to each upstream machine that feds it with parts authorizing the production of just enough component to fulfill the production requirement. It is also known as pull system. Important word pull system. This since these cards are initiated at the end of the production process, pulling works, pulling work or authorizations through the production system. Work in progress cannot pile up since it cannot be created only with Kaban authorization. Since it can be created only with Kaban authorization. So what is a Kaban card? It is a notification card. Notification card that the downstream machines, the machines which are working at the production level, sends to the machines which are working at the upstream level. That okay, now next my production is this much units, so send me this many units. The moment the up downstream machine communicates to the upstream machines, upstream machines directly communicate to the suppliers, or those machines directly communicate to the supplier that my next production starts on Monday. I require one lakh units. Kindly deliver it by this time. So the moment this production cycle runs, what happens is the supplier been triggered or intimated, an ERP. Pops up a system or pops up a message on the supplier that one lakh units are required for this uh, product. So I have to supply it to the company. Accordingly, supplier sends it to us and we give it to the production department and the production is done. So that is what a Kaban card system plays a role. Right. See, I, I'll give you one more example. So this is not exactly a common Kaban card example, but this is something which is related with you in your day-to-day -day life. In this chain, uh, food chains like McDonald's, Domino's, if you notice, what happens is that the moment you place an order on the ordering or on the reception or you can say at the place where I am placing an order, that system creates a card. So the moment you place an order, a order card has been created in that system and that has been reflected in the machines which are placed in the production department. So the department where this food like McDonald's burger if you're ordering the department where the burgers are manufactured it this the moment your bill has been generated right. So the moment say for example you say that Mac veggie if you're going with then the moment you say Mac veggie and you do the payment an order is placed and that moment an order is placed this machine your billing or ordering machine billing machine sends that to your production department machine. If you observe there are small screens which are placed in McDonald's or Domino's in when there is a production department. So the employees or machines working over there immediately gets intimation that my next production or my next unit to be produced or my next food to be manufactured or to be cooked is McVeggie. And accordingly there is a fast process keep that keeps on going. So the moment you do that that is known as Kaban card system. So Kaban card system what happens is that system is a notification card that okay this is a notification supply as this many units downstream machine gives to a upstream machines and accordingly the production is continued because of that work in progress is been reduced majority times a lot of work in progress happens sir how the work in progress happens that i introduce some units to my machine my machine starts manufacturing them and at certain point of time then they have that there is a deficit in machines there is deficit in raw material further production cannot be done because raw material is not introduced so basis on that the raw material gets introduced and then that work in progress starts. So there are high probable chances of work in progress. But when it comes to just in time, whatever the machine, the, there is a downstream machine, it directly intimates or notification card is being sent to upstream machine and accordingly production keeps on running and running. So work in progress, work in progress cannot be piled up. And that is one of those important things what we have learned or understood over here that with the uh, philosophy of just in time, there is a threefold effects. The reason is that your work in progress has been reduced. The work in progress cost that you are incurring has been reduced to a great extent when you follow carbon car system. Then there is a working cell system, another system. Working cell is a small cluster of machines. Now again, important term over here is small cluster of machines. Right? Important term in carbon card is notification card pool system. See, understand in CA final, the more you use these words when you're writing your answers in your exams, the better presentation, the better are probability of your answers to have a better marks, right? So, Kaban card, when it comes to, it follows a pull system, right? When it comes to machine working cells, 
it it is follows a small cluster of machine which can be run by a single machine operator right the establishment of working cell has been following advantages the individual machine operator takes each output from part from machine to machine within the cell and thus there is no way of work in progress to build up between the machines so instead of having bulk machines instead of having huge setups what you do is you go for small setups where a single operator works on those small setups as we said that try to minimize your setup that is one of those very important part what just in time focuses that is where just in time says that setups reduce reduction will reduction a lot of cost i'll I have, we have given an example also over here so there are department 1 department 2 department 3 department 4 there are two products fresh pineapple and fresh raspberry uh, pulp packages if you understand so in department 1 fresh pineapple and raspberry had been introduced cleaning peeling and chopping is done in department 2 adding sugar syrup and preservative is done in department 3 canning is done and in department 4 packaging is done now what happens over here is what what's the drawback of this system is that the moment you do cleaning and chopping right in department 1 department 1 is not aware what is the status of department 2 department 2 might have preservatives or might not have they might have sugar syrup they might not have so if in case of planning and chopping is done but there is no sugar syrup so then that production becomes work in progress when it enters department 2 right if the moment suppose in department 2 they have sugar syrup but there are probable chances that the canning cannot be done so if the there is some default some machine breakdown or you can say if there is an issue with the canning department there is a work in progress after department 2 and those work in progress has a lot of huge cost that we incur because those work in progress are to be preserved they are to be stored they are to be used effectively made sure there is no wastage accordingly a production stops at department 1 and department 2 because there is a lot of work in progress which needs to process in department 3 so all those machinery or functional layout plans just in time says do not follow this follow a working cell system small cluster of machines where a single operator makes for pineapple a single operator goes for raspberry pulp that is what we have discussed right so there is a system of single pineapple pulp pineapple is introduced a single operator goes for all the operations cleaning and peeling chopping sugar syrup canning packaging and pineapple packages are being done so that is done by single operator in small cluster of machine so the single operator is already aware that how this machines are working where i am lacking what i need to do how i need to use kaban card how so there is no dependence of departments to departments right so the individual machine operator takes each output part from machine to machine within the cell and thus there is no way of work in progress to build up between machines right the operator can immediately identify defective output which otherwise is difficult for each machine of the cell the smaller machines used in the machine cell are generally much simpler than the large automotive machinery they replace hence maintenance cost are reduced and it is much easier to reconfigure the production facility when it is necessary for produce uh, different products avoiding large expense of carefully repositioning and analyzing equipment so basically what happens is i'll give you one of those uh, examples what uh, this this third term says that it is much easier to reconfigure production facilities when it is necessary to product different products see when it comes to one of those uh, product say for example chocolate industries if i speak so when it comes to dairy milk the dairy milk has different kind of products dairy milk cracker dairy milk fruit and nut dairy milk now we have something with jelly belly kind of thing normal dairy milk we have right so there are different kind of products dairy milk has now if you have huge setups if the company plans to manufacture fruit and nut after fruit and nut is been manufactured the setups are required to be changed for dairy milk crackle all the normal dairy milks right so that requires a lot of setup cost removing all your eliminating the fruit and nut setups introducing your crackle setups running a production trial of crackle the production is been done and then accordingly because of that after doing that your production of crackle starts what this system working cell says that do a small clusters of machinery so the moment you do small cluster of machine and focus on individual products like in one small cluster of machinery only fruits and nuts are produced and in one small cluster of machinery only crackers are produced so that will reduce your huge setup cost that will reduce your huge facilities 
unnecessary uh, changing reconfiguring your setup times and that is why this focus is more on small setups rather than largely automated system and that is what in point number 2 they have said see go the smaller machine used in machine shell are generally simpler rather than automated large machines that they replace and that is why the maintenance cost are reduced right then further we have is so these are the two important cost allocation difference in just in time versus traditional system so how the cost allocation can be done that is what we have discussed over here especially the cost that now charge directly to products so which are the cost that we directly charge to the products because you are following in just in time so depreciation material handling operating supplies repairs and maintenance supervision if supervision is by machine sell see understand i'll i'll, I'll read this one for you if supervision is by machine sell the cost of the can be split among the machine supervised however the cost of general facility management as well as any support staff must still be charged to an overhead cost pool so accordingly you need to do that now concept of back flushing right so before we move on to the concept of back flushing we let us make sure that we do a two or three sums on the basis of just in time to understand what is just in time process and how practical it has been used so once we do those practical on just in time because we have learned a lot of things on just in time we shall move to the back flushing process understanding theory of because this is an accounting system accounting process of back flushing now just in time questions when it comes to so there are uh, further few more uh, questions in just in time theory itself if you ob observe after back flushing impact of just in time on product pricing how there is an impact and further is performance measurement in just in time system or if tradition measurement system fails specific performance measures can be used in just in time comment so what are the performance measures that you can put in your just in time this kind of comment questions are important when it comes to your examinations so what are those uh, performance measurement the performance measure inventory turnover setup time reduction customer complaints scrap cost of quality customer service can be reduced these are your things which you need to take care